Hey gang, Nick Slotta with Red Ox Insurance Agency here. I want to put together a quick video to give you five tips on saving fuel. Five fuel saving tips. Uh, before I get started, just want to let you know that I am now licensed in Tennessee. So in total, I'm licensed in six states. Kentucky, Indiana, Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia, and Texas. So if you're a trucker in one of those six states and you're looking for insurance feel free to visit my website and I'll be happy to provide a free no obligation quote try to do the best I can for you to save the most money on your insurance for trucking um, also just check out the details below for uh, the quote request form my referral partners link uh, a lot of good information in there to help you save some money um, Please subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Please give it a thumbs up if you learned something from it. If you think it's valuable, please leave a comment below. Love to hear from everybody. Um, the reason I'm putting this video together is I had a truck driver, a client of mine, complain about how much money he's spending on fuel. So I thought I'd do a little uh, research and just try to figure out how to help him save some money on fuel. And, and I came up with five different ways to do that. So without further ado... Uh, the first tip is to drive the speed limit. You know, from what I understand, uh, it's not really rocket science, but the faster you go, the more fuel you're going to use. So if you're staying at the speed limit or just a little under or just a little over the speed limit, uh, fuel efficiency right there. Second tip is acceleration control. So I'm talking about you're at a stop, how fast, you know, the zero to 60 type of thing. How fast are you, are you gunning it? Uh, if you are, that's going to obviously use more fuel. So slow, steady acceleration will be uh, fuel efficient for you. The third tip is to minimize your idle time. I mean, how, how long are you just sitting there without running? Just whether you're waiting for something to be loaded or you're at a truck stop, whatever. Try to minimize that idle time. Fourth step is just trip planning, proper trip planning. Make sure you plan your route uh, before you go. Make sure you're the most efficient route that you can take. Traffic, minimize traffic, uh, save you some money that way. And last but not least, one of my favorites is to get a fuel card. Uh, if you get a fuel card, that's going to save you up to 25 cents per gallon just really depends on your fuel card um, you know in the details below if you go to my referral partners link you'll see RTS financial they do factoring and fuel cards they have two different types of fuel cards for you one is free it's free it's uh, up to $2,500 limit you will not get as much savings as if you do the paid fuel card the paid fuel card is going to cost you on average about 15 bucks a month paid fuel card is basically every fuel station in America accepts it for the most part. That free version, there's only a limited number of fuel stations that will accept that fuel card. So, uh, But having the free version is better than having no version. So take a look at that. If you find that something that you need, something that's interesting to you, sign up for it. If there's anything that I can do for you, feel free to reach out to me, Nick at RedOxInsurance.com. Nick at RedOxInsurance.com. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that thumbs up, and reach out if I can help you in any way. Thank you.